So Optimus, I mean, do you think Tesla is making all the right moves right now with Optimus? Like, are you as excited as you were with autonomous driving back in the day? I feel like um, Optimus and and uh, and FSD only have a really superficial resemblance to each other from a st strategy standpoint. I can see why, you know, there seems to be a common tech foundation, but uh, so like the. The starting decision, I think that what that ends up, I think mean, Tesla has uh, like two starting decisions that that essentially give them this overwhelming advantage in the space now years later. And the first one was to bet on neural networks and cameras, right? Um, which, you know, at the time they did it, it's definitely a bet. I, I thought it was the right bet. Other people thought it was the right bet. I, but most of the people in the industry thought it was the wrong bet, you know, that um, that essentially going sensor heavy and you know, doing HD mapping and all that kind of stuff was going to be the winning strategy. The other thing was, and this is the thing that's super amazing to me, is that the company invested in putting all the hardware in the cars way ahead of time. They built the fleet and building the fleet allowed them to gather the data. At the time they made the initial commitment to uh, neural networks, it wasn't clear that the data was going to be as important as it turned out to be. I mean, you could have guessed that it was, but there wasn't a lot of evidence. But you know, they had a level of conviction that allowed them to like make an enormous capital investment in building out the fleet, which, you know, the combination of making the right bet on the technology and building out the fleet well ahead of time is put them in the position that they're in right now. I feel like, you know, robots are in a super different place. Like when uh, Tesla started on the, on uh, building out the, technology that became RoboTaxi, it wasn't super clear that it was going to work. I mean, most people thought it wasn't going to work. Um, humanoid robots, you know, we're at the early stages of humanoid robots, and there's like 25 companies doing humanoid robots. Like the, the environment from a business strategy standpoint is completely different.